Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Let's talk about the use of Seek module of BioPackage. Our today's lesson consists of 1. Importing Seek module, 2. Functions available in the Seek module, 3. Classes available in the module, 4. Use of the functions. We will talk about the use of classes and methods of Seek module in my next video, inshallah. So let's begin. Our today's first objective is how to import the Seek module. You can import this module using the following different syntaxes. A. Import bio. Dot seek. B. Import bio. Dot seek. As. S. C. From bio. Import seek. D. From bio. Import seek. As. S. Now let's come to our second objective, that is, functions and classes available in the SEQ module. You can do this by using the dot method. In this method you just put a dot after typing the name of whatever you have imported. You will see all the classes, functions and modules etc. attached to seek module. Let's see. If you have used this method to import the module then just type bio. Dot. Seq. Dot. As you can see here. All the functions and classes etc. have appeared. So these are all the things available in this module. If you have used the second or fourth method to import the module then just type s. Dot. Everything it contains will just pop in a menu. If you have used this method to import the module then just type seek. Dot. You can see the practical usage over here in this window. Now, let me show you dir method to see these things. In this method you just use the dir function to see all the classes, functions and modules etc. attached to the seek module. Let's see. If you have used this method to import the module then just type this and just hit enter. As you can see here, all the functions and classes etc. have appeared. So these are all the things available in this module. If you have used the second or fourth method to import the module then just type this and hit enter. Everything it contains will be displayed. If you have used this method to import the module then just type this command. You can see the practical usage over here in this window. You saw all the things mixed together. Classes functions, and modules, all, intermixed. Let me show you all these things, in categories. Here you can see, that this module, contains these sub-modules, which have been imported into seek module, using the import command, in the seek.py file. This second column contains classes names, which are included in the seek module. This third column has the names of functions in the seek module. We will not talk about these underscore things. You can watch videos about these functions and classes on YouTube or you can search Google about them. Now, let's come to our last objective. That is, the use of these functions. Note. These functions are used on sequences, which are strings of letters, composed of, 4 letters of DNA, or 4 letters of RNA, or, 20 letters of amino acids in case of protein sequence. Let's see how to transcribe a DNA sequence into RNA sequence. For this purpose, we use transcribe function of the seq module. To access this function, first, you have to import the seq module. If you have imported your module using this method, then just type bio.seq and then put a dot. As soon as you put the dot, you will see your functions and classes. Now select your desired function. Here we have selected the transcribe function. Inside the parenthesis, you have to type the DNA sequence, either, as a string of letters, directly inside quotients, or, the name of the container, in which you saved the sequence. Let's see how it works.
If you have used this, or, this method, then you type s, dot, transcribe, and inside parentheses, put your DNA sequence. Let's see the practical usage. If you have used this method for importing the module, then type seek, dot, transcribe, opening parenthesis, DNA sequence, and closing parenthesis. Let's see how we do it. As you saw, all the methods changed your DNA sequence into RNA sequence. For the rest of the functions, I will show you the first method only. Let's see, how to back transcribe, RNA sequence into DNA sequence. For this purpose, we use the back underscore transcribe function, of the SEQ module. Let's suppose you have imported the module using this method. To access the function, just type bio, dot, SEQ, and then select your desired function, back underscore transcribe this time. Then inside parenthesis put your RNA sequence and hit enter. Your RNA sequence will be converted into the DNA sequence. Let me show you the use of this function practically. First you imported the module. Now type this, and put a RNA sequence, inside parenthesis. Then just hit enter. Your DNA sequence is now RNA sequence. You can use it other way too. Suppose, you have saved your RNA sequence into a container, named as, A, suppose. Now use the function on this container, named, A. The sequence contained in A, will be converted into the DNA sequence. To find the complement of a nucleotide sequence, you use complement function. Let's suppose you have imported the module using this method. To access the function, just type bio, dot, seq, and then select your desired function. Select complement in this case. Then inside parenthesis put your nucleotide sequence and hit enter. Your sequence will be converted into the complement sequence. Let me show you the use of this function practically. First you imported the module. Now type this, and put a nucleotide sequence, inside parenthesis. Then just hit enter. Your sequence's complement is ready now. You can use it other way too. Suppose, you have saved your nucleotide sequence into a container, named as a. Now use the function on this container. The sequence contained in A, will be converted into the corresponding complement sequence. The output sequence of the complement function, depends on the input sequence. If input is RNA, the output will be RNA. However if input is DNA, the output will also be DNA. But sometimes we give input in DNA form, and we want our output to be, in RNA format. Then for that purpose, we have another function, called, complement underscore RNA. Let's suppose you have imported the module using this method. To access the function, just type bio dot, seq, dot, and then select your desired function. Select complement underscore RNA in this case. Then inside parenthesis, put your nucleotide sequence and hit enter. Your sequence will be converted into the complement sequence, which will be in the RNA format. Let me show you the use of this function practically. First you imported the module. Now type this, and put a nucleotide sequence, inside parenthesis. Then just hit enter. 
Your sequences complement is ready now. To get the reverse complement of a sequence, we have another function, called reverse underscore complement. Let's suppose you have imported the module using this method. To access the function, just type bio dot seq dot and then select your desired function. Select reverse underscore complement in this case. Then inside parenthesis, put your nucleotide sequence and hit enter. Your sequence will be converted into the reverse complement sequence. Let me show you the use of this function practically. First you imported the module. Now type this, and put a nucleotide sequence, inside parenthesis. Then just hit enter. Your sequence's reverse complement is ready now. Now let's come to the last function of today's lesson. This function is called translate. This function is used to perform translation of a nucleotide sequence into the protein sequence, that is, the amino acid sequence. Let's suppose you have imported the module using this method. To access the function, just type bio dot seq dot and then select your desired function. Select translate in this case. Then inside parenthesis, put your nucleotide sequence and hit enter. Your sequence will be converted into the amino acid sequence. Let me show you the use of this function practically. First you imported the module. Now type this, and put a nucleotide sequence, inside parenthesis. Then just hit enter. Your sequence is now translated. Dear viewers, that was all for today. Inshallah, in my next lesson, I will tell you about the use of methods inside the classes of the seek module. Till then bye.